All right, I've been called out by a few people on social media asking, all right, you're a board certified dermatologist. Why do you only recommend the cheap stuff you can buy at Walmart, Walgreens, just plain old Amazon? Well, I wanna tell you that I am all about access to seeing your doctor. I would go to Washington DC during my residency to address issues like limiting networks and you're not able to find a good specialist or even a primary care doctor to, to see you based on your insurance. Number two is I also worry about prescription medicines not getting, not being affordable to you. Very valuable prescriptions. Some prescription medicines like biologics for psoriasis or very severe atopic dermatitis, a lot of times it's so hard to get covered that it that people people are suffering when there's a good medication out there that could be life changing will help with these debilitating skin issues. You won't be have you won't have access to it because it's too expensive. It's not affordable. In general, I try to prescribe generic medications as much as possible. There are times when I do brand it because they could be more uh, innovative. They could be the the most advanced technology, and especially for biologics, they're they're usually branded. So um, I'm really big on access to medications, access to your doctor. But the third thing is access to over-the-counter options. So if you are looking for a good cleanser, a good moisturizer, you don't have to spend the big bucks. I was a student once and I had, and I came out of medical school uh, and residency with a ton of debt. Many of you uh, in the younger generations are also facing the same thing. Why would you go to a high class store and use your hard earned money for a, med uh, for a cleanser or moisturizer or sunscreen that will just break the bank, right? So I'm all about getting nice, affordable things that actually work. And so what I wanna do is decode the ingredients in your skincare regimen. Let's start from the beginning. When you start your day, you uh, brush your teeth, of course, but next to your toothbrush and your toothpaste, you're gonna have a cleanser to wash the impurities that you picked up overnight. All the dirt, the excess oil, the bacteria that may have gotten into your face from your pillowcase that you wanna wash at least once a week, okay? Uh, and then when you look at your cleanser, find a cleanser with ingredients that are amenable to your skin type. So if you wake up and your face is very oily, you might want to do something like Neutrogena salicylic acid wash or a benzoyl peroxide wash. I like clean and clear. I like Panoxyl. Those are great with benzoyl peroxide. You want to go between five to 10%. Uh, sometimes a 10% is a little too drying. So you might have to stick with the 5% or lower. <laughs> Winter time, I wake up with a dry face. I will have to stick with something like Neutrogena's Hydro Boost, which is a nice cleanser. They make a nice moisturizer, but as a cleanser, this is great. It has hyaluronic acid. And we talked about hyaluronic acid in the past because it's a special sugar that's natural in our skin. But if you add more of it, it will really help plumping up your skin because it pulls in water like a sponge. It is found in various uh, cleansers and moisturizers. You don't have to break the bank to find a cleanser or a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. So I recommend this as a lotion, a cleansing lotion that helps hydrate the skin in the morning, but also their moisturizer is very nice. Okay, moving on now. You could do a toner with a cotton swab to your entire face before applying what's next is your serum. So a nice serum that I've been using that is very affordable, you don't have to break the bank for this one, would be CeraVe's Vitamin C Serum. So vitamin C is a nice antioxidant. It does help neutralize free radicals that we can get from air pollution, UV radiation, that will damage our skin and cause aging. This will help neutralize those bad free radicals from causing oxidative stress in our skin. And so this is very affordable. I mean, you could go for a higher price point. My favorite serum would be Skin Better Science Alto, which has 19 antioxidants, or SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic, which has vitamin C, vitamin E, which works synergistically together, but they also have ferulic acid that helps stabilize those two vitamins and thus potentiates its anti-aging effect. Next, after your serum, you want to do a moisturizer and there are tons of moisturizers out there. It's just overwhelming how many moisturizers there are. But what I want to go through are my favorite ingredients in a moisturizer. One, ceramides. A great example of that is CeraVe. CeraVe is just a great go-to moisturizer. It has a whole array of ceramides that helps repair the skin barrier. 
and it also has niacinamide in some of their formulations, which is anti-inflammatory, so it helps people with acne. The other thing that you want to look for in a moisturizer would be hyaluronic acid, which we mentioned. Hyaluronic acid is great. We use it in a, um, you know, cosmetic fillet. Cosmetic fillers have hyaluronic acid because it helps fill and plump in skin and thus decreases wrinkles. So a very cheap, poor man's way of treating wrinkles would be just getting a good moisturizer that plumps up your skin. And that goes the same for if you want a good eye cream, hyaluronic acid in a eye cream is beautiful. You don't want to be relying on getting injections of hyaluronic acid filler around your eyes because it's very dangerous. Some dermatologists are very skilled at doing that, but it's very dangerous. So I like to use hyaluronic acid around the eyes to help with any sagging, wrinkling, puffiness. You want to just help hydrate the skin in that area. The other thing you want to look for in moisturizers would be humectants like glycerin, urea especially for your hands so if you're having dry skin from your hands you want to have something with urea there's eucerin roughness relief which i like a lot there's um even amazon just has the 40 percent urea which used to be prescription that's a they used to be a prescription strength moisturizer and help with very dry cracked fissure uh, spots in your hands and your feet the only complaint i've heard from patients is that it can leave a residue Whereas I like the Eucerin Roughness Relief. It has less urea, but it has uh, a great rub-in texture to it where you don't have to uh, notice that's there throughout the day when you're at work. Finally, you wanna have a good sunscreen. And there are great sunscreens out there that um, you can get at uh, Bartels, Walgreens, made by CeraVe, Neutrogena, La Roche-Posay. All of those uh, brands are great. I like Elta MD, which is a higher price point. But in general, you just wanna look for things with mineral ingredients. There are some um, really nice brands that have chemical ingredients, but there's so much we don't know about it that I would stick with the mineral physical blockers like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. <laughs>